Hi, my name's Chuck and I'm the Desert Dude from Phoenix, Arizona with another demonstration of a vintage classic toy. What you're viewing is a late 1950s, early 60s Mighty Mo Howitzer by the Deluxe Reading Corporation. As you can see, it's quite a large toy and Deluxe Reading sold its line of toys on the top shelves of grocery stores and drug stores. Okay, we have the original box. I'm going to remove it from the table because it does take quite a bit of room. Now, you can see that we have the Mighty Mo Howitzer and it's quite a large toy. The nice thing about this toy is that it required no batteries, okay? It came with a remote control and these are kind of tough to find because the end piece that inserts into the howitzer is usually broken and this one is not and that's really rare. Uh, there's two tabs on the end that screw into the howitzer and like I said they're usually broken. Now, you do not need this to operate the toy. I find that it's quite a hassle to use the remote control because of the cable. So you can fire the toy manually without the remote. Like I say, this is an unusual toy because I'm sure many of you have never even heard of this. Also, it comes with its original instruction sheet, which is really tough to find. And look how large this thing is. I mean, it is really large. Okay, and to have that is quite rare. The howitzer is breech loaded, which means it opens up in the back and you insert this tube into the opening. This is a plunger that you use to lock the missiles in place or cannonballs. And you take this and you set it on there and you push it down. It locks the cannonball into place. And then what you do, as you can see, there's a latch that's open. You slide this in here. It's been a while since I operated this. There we go, lock it in. Like I said, it's been a while since I operated it. You lock it in and now it is ready to fire. So what we're going to do is I'm going to shoot another video showing you how this operates and how it fires because I have to set up some objects to fire upon. And you can see it's a really big toy. Well actually I'll fire one right now and it'll give you an idea. Okay, that concludes this part of the demonstration and stay tuned for another video. Thanks for viewing.